Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and a Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading for July 8th to July 14th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards and we can jump straight away uh, to the spread. All right, so the first card which represents the topic for Capricorn week, that will be uh, the Queen of Swords, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Capricorn needs to overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. Afterwards, the third card which stands for the positive aspect of the Capricorn week, that is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. And the last one which regards to the uh, guidance that Saru is offering to Capricorn, that is going to be the Page of Cups. All right, so uh, it seems that uh, this uh, this week itself is going to be a, a quite decisive one, all right, because there are going to be those uh, quite sort of a, uh, I would say, fortunate circumstances. It is kind of like a fortunate opportunity for you to make a difference and to make a, a a change you want into your life. We're not talking about a, a go with the flow kind of change, but we're talking about here a conscious change. Something that you want to change in your life is going to become within your grasp. Now, this change, it is unlikely to happen throughout this week, but it is the week where it is the, this week is going to give you the events which are going to set that change into motion, okay? So, before we go into this, uh, into the cards one by one, let's go, let's run them down once again. So, the first one, which is the topic of the week, is going to be the Queen of uh, Swords. Followed by the second one, which stands for the challenges here, is going to be the Knights of Pentacles. <clears throat> Afterwards, uh, it is the Wheel of Fortune, which regards to the positive aspect. And then the last one, which is the Guidance, that will be the Page of Cups. Okay, so uh, the topic itself is related with a, a person, the challenge as well, all right? So we do have the Queen of Swords, and that is a, a person in your surrounding here who is quite emancipating and as well it's it's quite in tune with any kind of situation that the life has to offer because the queen of swords has a lot of experience from the failures that the queen had in the past okay so it's someone who is very capable to make um objective judgment instead of emotional judgment <clears throat> upon one situation uh, it is because they suffered a lot, right? So that is someone with great amounts of life experience behind their back. Additionally to that, the queen is very capable to push anything through. It always has a plan 
and that being said, whatever plights you are going through or whatever you're trying to fix and change into, uh, into your life, the queen is going to have an answer for it. Now, the queen doesn't have to be only a woman. It could be a man, you know, it could be your very best friend. It could be your very best colleague. It could be your boss. It could be your husband or a wife. It doesn't matter. The thing is that this is how you're recognizing that person is that they talk with wisdom. They, they do have a great amount, like I said, of knowledge and experience behind their back. The accompanied card here, it is going to be the hangman. <clears throat> the formation it is a uh, active neutrals and the queen uh, this uh, this person here which is marked with the queen of swords it's it's kind of like very good um how do you say someone who is capable to maneuver uh, regardless of what the situation is so it's pretty much with the hangman here that queen always have an answer for everything i mean even though if for example we face a bankruptcy bankruptcy let's say it always have an answer how to fix that if it face if for example you're facing um, a, a plight into your relationship that queen will have an answer for it as well so it's very important here to listen what that queen what that person has to say to you simply because that thing is going to be uh, this advice that you are going to get from a, from uh, from the queen itself or from that person is going to be very effective or it's going to give you the, the, the understanding how you can be very affecting, coping and mitigating with the plight that you are currently uh, currently facing. Uh, it's simply encouragement in my in my opinion here it's simply encouragement that uh, you have to make the most out of it around you even though you may be facing let's say a dead end situation um, it, it's this, this queen will tell you that it's in reality it's it's not a dead end one all right maybe it needs a little bit of a waiting and as it needs a little bit of a waiting you can uh, redirect your attentions into a more important matters but the next one <clears throat> Is going to be the challenge and that is the knights of pentacles so this is uh, another person here that we do have and it does depend on how the queen is going to manifest itself it does depend what you are going uh, going through right now so the knight here in this follow-up has uh, almost countless interpretation but as a most general one that is a, a person who thinks or they know what they want but because it is a is a, it is in a challenging position for one or another reason uh what you want and what they want it's a little bit of a, a mismatching so there is a, a little bit of a misunderstanding here in between you and them as well uh so that, that person it's um I, it's kind of like very meticulous and thorough when it comes to uh, performing in either into one relationship and either into one career and as well whatever actions they do they are uh, supported by uh, quite of a, a big determination now that i think of guys that could be someone that you are taking an example of and trying to do things the, their way all right and as it works for them it never works for you it's simply because you differentiate into a, um, a, a situation so you should stop doing what they are doing but the point of the first interpretation of the person it is that it's going to be a, a challenge for you to match you know the goals that you both have especially if for example that is about a, a deteriorating marriage and this is for example your wife or your husband they do want a simply a different kind of marriage than you do not that there is a um not that everything is uh, carved in stones to be uh, to, uh, to be destroyed all right it's just going to be a challenging for you to like i said kind of like uh combine the both ideas of what the marriage should be moving on forward the accompanied card here is going to be the king of cups <clears throat> And the formation it is a, a passive friends that we do have. So uh, on another note, now this person, uh, it simply have emotions for you, all right? So one way or another, it could be love, it could be friendship. And they do have an emotional attachment, that is my point. But um, they, they are not showing that emotional attachment for one or another reason. I do suspect that the reason being here, it is going to, because it's going to make them see like not in uh, not not irreliable all right but more like a uh, inconsistent i would say 
and they think that person thinks that this is going to deprive them from performing as, be as best as they can into their future endeavors. <clears throat> And uh, these couple of cards could be associated as well if you are waiting for a job proposition, job offer, or any kind of offer that is. You know, uh, these cards are pointing that um, th the person that you are waiting the offer from, it's not very appealed by what you have to offer in return. And uh, this is why in here comes in play uh, the Queen of Swords, the first person which is going to give you an advice, you know, how you can expand and sprout the capabilities you can, you can present, for example, and how you can seal the deal with the Knight of Pentacles, which could be the one that you are waiting a uh, offer from. It could be, for example, a big client that you are waiting for an approval of a product of yours and that approval never comes. That is because either the deal is not uh, very beneficial for them or the product they don't like that much, but you can definitely fix that following your business advisor's advices. And so the next one is going to be the uh, positive aspect of the week, and that is the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune points that this, is going, this week is going to offer you a fortunate opportunity in a very meaningful circumstances. Like I said, to make a difference and to change things that you want to change. It's not like, you know, something that the universe changes for you, but instead this time around you do have the, um, the control over what, what you want to change in your life, how you want to change it and how much you want to change it as well. But you need to be careful with the Wheel of Fortune because it gives you tremendous potential to be good, to, to end up in a good place. It also could ruin a lot because the Wheel of Fortune here says that um, the results of your strafes, either bitter or sweet, are going to be yours to bear. Okay, so you have to be careful here uh, of um, determining what you want to change and how you want to change it as well. The accompanied card is going to be the uh, Six of Swords here, All right? So the formation, it is a active friends that we do have. And these cards speaks for a huge determination from your behalf. It pretty much this week, you're going to make up your mind in regard to a certain matter in your life, either relationship or career one, being determined that you have to improve the circumstances around it. Uh, if your marriage isn't going on very well, well, simply this week, following the advice of the Queen of uh, Swords here, all right, you uh, with the with the with these couple of cards, you are to do whatever it's necessary to fit with the demands, or rather, like the understanding of how the marriage should go forward of the of the Knights of Pentacles, which appears to be, for example, your wife or your husband. All right, as they have an, an emotional attachment to you, even if they are not displaying it. So this is how it could it could play out. But the thing is that you are going to realize what is in stake here, right? And you're going to realize that the means actually um, justify the results by a large margin, all right? So what you are going to get in the end, uh, it's far more valuable than what you are to expend throughout the way of uh, achieving it. And then the last card that we do have, uh, it's uh, going to be the Page of Cups, and that is the Guidance card. So the Guidance tells you that a big change is looming on the horizon, isn't here yet, right? But it is coming around, and that is your change, Capricorns, that you are going to exert in your life. So now, this week, you have to think of what kind, how you are to face that change, all right? The Page of, so the page of Cups urges you to take a bit of a moment and assess, assess yourself, make a crucial assessment of what you have achieved thus far in life, what you want from life, you know, how you cope with things, and as well, uh, attain more to attend more to the overview rather than to the minor and irritating details, which will help you to foresee a, a better positions where you can situate yourself, either career-wise or relationship-wise, to make the most out of the change that you alone are going to incorporate in your life. The accompanied card here is going to be the five of... Uh, 
the five of wands the formation is the passive enemies that we do have and with the five of wands it pretty much the advice is that you should not change and make up your mind okay for uh for your goal you want to be with someone that's fine that's great but you just need to follow the advice of that person to fit with the expectations of this uh someone and by following the advice of that person queen of swords the fortunate circumstances are going to come around giving you the uh, the, the the necessary opportunity for you to in to invoke the change needed so that person can see you for what they want to see you if that makes uh, if that makes sense and that applies for any kind of a situation in your life so uh capricorns uh, for a conclusion here i could say that this week it is where you actually align with what the situation truly is and make the most out of it and by using the weakness of this situation so the weakness of your enemy would i say that way you are to start shaping the situation according to your image and significantly and greatly improve your circumstances now it's not gonna be easy guys all right i because i have read those um comments into my youtube channel saying that uh, that was for the last week or every star sign was positive reading no it isn't all right the, the reading is not positive nor negative the reading is what the reading is and there is always a conditions yeah i'm telling you what the potential is okay but do you have what it takes to reach that potential well that is up to you right so do not take that everything that i say is carved in stones that is your potential and you have to kick your butt and do whatever it's needed should you want to reach that potential so that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 8th to July 14th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.